Many people think a trip to the dentist is all about your teeth, but healthy gums are just as important. For Rocio, her gums are not only a health issue, but an embarrassing problem as well. When people think of me, probably the first thing that comes to their mind is my smile and my laughter. <laughs> Underneath my smile, there are a lot of insecurities. Learn to smile, just showing half of my teeth. That's what I hide. I noticed my gums were receding about five years ago. I have straight teeth, but my gums are really bad. I have asked the dentist, do I have gum disease? And he says, no, it's from overbrushing and brushing too hard, and I cause a lot of damage to my teeth. Well, it does bother me a lot. My daughter's getting married in May. We're going to be taking a lot of pictures, but I want to smile really nice for my daughter's wedding. I want to express my happiness through my smile. Now, since Rocio worked in a dentist's office, she knew she had to fix her gummy problem, but the thought of skin grafting surgery was just too daunting. That's why she opted for a brand new procedure. Hello, Rocio. Hi, Dr. Chow. How are you today? Fine. How are you today? I'm doing well. Good, good. <laughs> By tomorrow, the gums will be right That's about crazy. here. A pinot gum rejuvenation is the first minimally invasive technique to restore receding gums without the gum graft. With this procedure, we can move gums to its normal position without cutting or stitching all through a tiny little pinhole. We're about to start the procedure with a pinhole. Right at this point on number six. And this is the instrument that I use to go through the pinhole. I'm loosening the gum from the attachments to the bone underneath and to the root underneath. I'm just kind of gliding it down. Now I'm going to move to another tooth. Now I'm using a longer instrument so that I can reach Rocio's back teeth. It's going pretty quick. The pinhole will disappear in 24 hours. This is all one session, and I'm going to be done with the right side pretty soon. Now I'm going to put another pinhole right over the upper left cusper, and we have about three more teeth to go. Now I'm moving towards the last two teeth. So far, I've used only two pinholes. Now we're ready to put the collagen strips in between the teeth, and then we'll be done. The collagen strips will keep the gums from going back up. Now the gums are right where it belongs. We did it in 57 minutes. We did 10 teeth. Okay, really nice. It'll be a total change. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God. That's way different. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rocio is here with us today, and that was an emotional moment for you, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. It's amazing. I can't believe it. You show that smile off. Just yeah. smile at that camera because this is a transformation yeah. that goes beyond just a healthy mouth. This is yeah. emotionally a big deal for you. Wow. You know, you know what's amazing is that, you know, we're taught to brush our teeth twice a, twice a day, right? And, but we're never taught about like how hard or soft to brush your teeth. And um, you know, gum recession is a serious thing. And people get, get confused because you want to prevent cavities, and yet you can't overbrush them because then you can help cause gum recession. Rocio's doctor, Dr. John Chow, is joining us now on the phone. And Dr. Chow, this is something that you came up with, and it, it seems too good to be true in a way because you're essentially pulling down the gums, and within an hour or so. You have treated the receding gum line. Walk us through exactly what you were doing during the procedure. I went from the, the, the top of the tooth, the area where the tissue is very soft, but very, very pliable, and it's full of collagen. So I went through there with, uh, with, with a pinhole, and then I basically disengaged the tissue from the underlying bone, and then I was able then to, to basically drape uh, the, the uh, gums down to where I wanted to go. And then, and then I stabilize it with the collagen strips and put it between the teeth, and uh, that's about it. So the secret is to go from where it's soft when it's easier, uh, where it's easier to approach the tooth. Well, well Dr. Chow, uh, thank you so very much for sharing this with us. Rocio, we wish you the best of luck. And everyone at home, remember, it's a fine line between healthy, clean teeth and overbrushing with hard bristles. So be careful. Use a soft toothbrush. And if you see receding gum lines, taking shape is another reason to visit your dentist a couple of times a year to make sure you can stop problems before they become big problems. Let's see what's coming up.